what's going on you guys welcome back to another video in this video i want to talk about five signs the narcissist is jealous of your new relationship and this doesn't necessarily have to be like a romantic relationship it can be a newfound friendship narcissists have a way of thinking that you automatically belong to them because of how much supply they have gotten from you they have this strong sense of entitlement and it's not easy for them to let that go or just to new people in your life so you're going to start to see how they don't take that very well when learning that you have met someone new so i want to talk about five ways that they are jealous of your relationship number one they say things like um say for instance you tell them um once you tell them that you have met someone new they automatically just start to think out of emotions and you know they get in their feelings and they start to just think that well dang that pushes me out of the way when they shouldn't have never even felt that way to begin with because you never gave them a reason to believe that there could ever be anything between you and them that's just a part of their assumption so when they ask you questions like well i haven't heard from you in a while i'm like well you know you must have been busy lately but i know that we normally talk at least three or four times a week and i just haven't heard from you at all since once last week so how have everything been and you just flat out tell them you know what i'm oh, well, i've been seeing somebody and you know the moment you let that come out of your mouth their whole mood just change and they start to just feel like what they're not even listening to the fact that you've met someone new so that they can you know take that in and, and be happy for you or something the first thing they start to think about is themselves so that's what you normally get from a narcissist when you first introduce them to your new found friendship or relationship and they say things like well maybe i should stop calling you or or you just call me then because i don't want no trouble and it's like why would it be trouble our relationship is not based on jealousy like i don't have those problems you know with my with my person i don't have to deal with things like that and i don't have anything to hide and it's funny that narcissists say things like that because they really think in their mind that you belong to them. They really think that they have a chance with you, you know, outside of friendship or just, uh, you know, just someone who you just communicate with sometimes. They really think way ahead of themselves when it comes to certain people. And again, it all comes down to supply. So now they feel like they're losing you and they're panicking and they're hurt. And they're angry and they're confused and they're just disgustedly all over the place. Number two, they start to say things like, um, you know, when they know that they're losing good supply, they say things to where they're, they're thinking out loud. They say, you know, well, oh boy, I tell you, people, oh boy, people just full of surprises. You just never know. And you'd be like, what are you talking about? What's wrong? And they'll say things like, well, you know, I, I just I just do right by people, no matter how bad they treat me, you know. And you're like, what the hell? What what, what are they talking about? Who mistreat you? What's, what's wrong? What's going on? What's going on inside your mind, you know? But the reason why they're saying this out loud is because they can't help. They can't even contain their true emotions, like their feelings behind the fact that you know you made a decision for your own life and they can't handle it something like that they they really can't handle the fact of knowing that you made a decision without even confining it in them first which you do not owe them anything about your personal your personal life so another thing narcissists do number three is they say things to you like they try to comfort themselves by, you know, making statements like, well, everybody needs somebody, you know, but you just got to be careful because 
I mean, I know you get lonely sometimes, but you got to be careful because, you know, everybody's not in it for the same reason that you are. You're a good person and you're like, you talking to me? Like, oh, no, I've been knowing this person a very long time and I'm pretty, you know, I'm pretty secure in saying that, um, you know, I found a good thing. I don't have nothing to worry about when it comes to that, you know, and hey, we're in the early stages of a, of a relationship you know, like I'm not even thinking about, uh, you know, how bad it could be. You know, I'm just really happy right now. And, and you can't expect a narcissist to be happy for you because they're not. They're not going to be happy. They're very jealous. And they're letting you know that they're jealous. And they don't take too well to you moving on from them, even though you're not even, you know, there's nothing with y'all. But in their sick and twisted mind, you know, their their world of with so called reality <laughs> they think otherwise. So they throw the subliminals out there like that to make it seem like that you're just not smart enough to know that you picked a good person or you're not smart enough to recognize the red flags in someone, you know. So they think that maybe you should just tread lightly and, and be careful. But trust me, they're not trying to give you genuine advice. It's not coming from a caring and concerned place. It's coming from jealousy because they just don't want to see you with anyone else. And then they start to kind of compare you, your new boo to themselves. And, you know, just make it seem like that they can do so much better for you without them saying it in so many words. But still, they're trying to put that out there, you know, hoping that you can pick up on it. And you're not phased by that because you're happy with the way things are going with you you know and your new relationship so you're not even really reading it too much into that but i'm just saying this is how narcissists you know how they react when they're jealous of your new relationship number four is they start to devalue you when they see that you're not phased by all that other crap number one through three they start to devalue you by you know telling you the type of woman that they prefer then they're kind of comparing it to you. Because mind you, the narc, they already sized you up. They know you pretty well. So they're comparing you in a slick way of to something that they, they so-called see as better for them. Whether it be man or woman. You know, and they, again, they speak out. They think out loud when they do that. And number five is they hoover and they love bomb when they haven't heard from you on a regular basis. They're missing you now and they want to know... Can you still be friends? You know, they just want to know, you know, are you still there? And if that, you know, doesn't really work normally, that's followed by punishment. 